Hey pod squad, welcome back. I'm Diksha, I'm a third year podiatry resident. And today I wanted to talk about part three, the APMLE part three. I forgot, both Yona and I have forgotten that we didn't mention part three yet. He has a wonderful video where he talked about part two. So if you wanna check that out, it might prove beneficial to you. I know a lot of, a lot of feedback that we got from our followers was that I mean, it was incredibly helpful. So he has good resources that he mentioned. And I did want to say in advance that if you haven't watched this video, watch that first before you watch this because a lot of those materials are what I am going to recommend for part three. Now, another thing I wanted to mention in first and foremost is that I would recommend taking part three during the summer before your residency begins. You have two choices. You take it then or the, another big one is taking it taking it early on your intern year. Those two options they they have their pros and cons. Some of the pros for both are that uh, if you take it the summer before residency, you have everything fresh on your mind. You had just taken part two, you just finished externships, you still have that student mindset where you, you kind of know everything. Now as residency begins, if you haven't watched my video yet about residency, watch that as well. But when residency begins, you'll realize really quickly that at least as an intern, you won't have as much time to be studying because at that point, you're trying to figure out the ins and outs of the hospital. You have a lot on your plate. So it depends. If you feel like you will have that discipline and you can handle it, then by all means, definitely take the exam during your intern year. The cons are if you take it the summer before residency, you may not feel like you have that freedom to enjoy your break before residency, which I also seriously recommend that you do. I can't believe I'm saying this, but somehow I managed to prep for my friend's wedding the entire week of celebrations. I celebrated as much as I could, and that was leading up to my exam. I did it. And if I can do it, I'm sure you all can do it as well. But again, it both both of those choices require a lot of discipline for different reasons, as you can tell. And then as far as resources go, so Watkins, Board Vitals, and Certifiables, Boards by the Numbers, three wonderful options. I would... I personally read over Watkins and certifiable boards by the numbers because I used certifiable boards by the numbers to study for part two. And I found that as the most valuable resource. So if you haven't considered that yet, I would. It is a, a little pricey if you were kind of trying to look for a free option, but it's worth it. <laughs> it's definitely worth it. And what I did during my study period was that, you know, if there were things that I didn't quite understand yet, I would YouTube them. I don't know if you've seen our videos before, but that's always my recommendation. Videos, 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 because you want to be able to visualize everything that you're learning because that's the best way to memorize something, to, to learn something, excuse me rather than just memorizing it because everything you're learning right now you're going to notice as a student and even in the early early months of residency are crucial for your entire career and you're at the best point that you'll ever be academically without having to do extra work after this uh, so I highly, highly recommend that you take advantage of the fact that you already have that foundational knowledge in you from school. And then on top of that, it's kind of like building blocks, watching those videos, 
trying to get that supplemental knowledge in in advance so that even when you're applying it to patients during residency, it comes a little easier. Because all of this is visual. We're, we're very hands-on field. We are obviously, a lot of it is surgical based. So it helps to have that the visual knowledge as well, visual representations of everything. And when you're studying, maybe I'll make a video about this one day, but with studying, you want to use as much as, as many of your senses as you possibly can, because that's one of the best ways to iron iron down knowledge in your brain. Um, and study schedules, I will post in a different video, so that'll come up soon, hopefully. I know Yona had promised that he'd make a study schedule video so for part two, so we'll get both of those out soon, as soon as we can. But I hope this helps. Let us know, comment down below, or send us questions through email or Instagram if there's anything in particular you had a question about for the exams, okay? So hope your decision is not too hard to make. But again, I took my exam in the summer and I really appreciate that I did that because I don't know how I would have been able to study walk-ins and boards by the number and or, and or board vitals uh, that early. I mean, that much. My early on in, during interview. All right, take care. Pod Squad, signing out.